Hi guys, welcome to Make 2 and another Sims Free Play Let's Build tutorial. We're going to be building this cute little house. It's a one-story family home. We've done a tour of it on the channel previously that we called the Sunshine House, and you'll see why as we get into it. Here's a list of quests that you'll need to unlock some of the stuff that I've used in the house. I'm building this on a standard size lot, 18 by 18 squares. If you want more information about the house or a link to the original tour or a link to a tutorial for how to make LPs and simoleons to pay for this house, then please check the video description. So we got a handful of comments recently asking us to build a smaller house which is always the kind of comment you want to get after you've spent like days working on a big house. But I do understand the reason for asking because big houses in this game are pretty expensive and it has been a while since we've done a Let's Build tutorial for a smaller house. So this is going to be it. So as you can see, I am just building the layout of the house. This is going to be a three bedroom house and this big room right here is going to be the kitchen and dining area. This room right here is going to be the living room, and that is basically it for the house on the main floor. The house will have a basement. It's an optional basement, I would say. You don't have to have a basement. I just felt like it was fun to put one in, and I had the room for it on this lot. But it's totally optional. Like I said, if you don't want to, then don't feel like you need to. Okay, so this room over here on the left that I just put a big door in is going to be the garage. It's just a pretend garage, of course, because you cannot actually put cars in garages in this game, unfortunately. Maybe someday, but just not right now. So it'll be a pretend garage, and you'll see how that works out later in the video. But for now, I'm just putting in the doors for the house, putting in all the structure, the bones, the stuff that is not as easy to change, unlike furniture, for instance. But I will be putting all the furniture and decorations in later in the video as well, because sometimes it's nice to see how that works out for inspiration and example, of course. As usual with Let's Build tutorials, please feel free to make whatever changes you want to this house if you're building it in your own town. Be creative, put your own spin on it. The only thing that we ask is that if you share pictures or video of your version of the house on social media, then please just let people know that you were inspired by us, Make Two. So that is all the doors put in, and now we put in the windows. As you can see, I'm using some of the snow chalet stuff. These were unlocked with the snow problem quest, which was recently rerun in the game. So for those of you who were able to complete it when it was rerun, then maybe you'll like how I've used some of the stuff in this build. Now the windows I'm putting in now are from the island villa, which is unlocked by completing the love and treasure quest. I do believe it's a discovery quest. You can start by building the island off of the mainland in the town map. And so now, with all the windows placed, here is what it looks like. Again, it's all optional. You can use different windows and different doors depending on what you have already unlocked in your game or what you can afford. So now we're going to put in the floors for the garage. We've got a nice concrete floor here, which I think I unlocked with the penthouses. And beside the garage is going to be the room for the stairwell into the basement. The optional basement and then we've got a laundry room and a bathroom the master bath and here's another bathroom just off of the hallway for anybody else to use in the family or guests to use and just putting in a natural pine floor for everything else i just think that makes the house look really light and as you remember we call this the sunshine house and that is because i just kind of when i was building the original version i wanted a house with like bright and light colors I wanted a house that would lift my mood, so this is the reason that I went for light colored floors and the reason I'm going for some of the wall colors you're going to see. Now, the way to put multiple wall colors in a single room is, first of all, to unlock that ability by completing the Back to the Walls quest, or we called it the Feature Walls quest, I believe, in our video tutorial for it. Uh, but you can do that by finding the little sim in the park and getting started on that quest. It's pretty fun and it unlocks this really cool ability to, as I said, put multiple colors of walls in a single room. And we'll be using that in a couple of the bedrooms as well later on. 
But for now, I'm just putting in some of these light, bright wall colors that came as prizes for that feature walls quest. I think they're really pretty, and I think they work really well to make the house feel bright and cheerful. All right, so now that I've put in all the bones of the house, we're gonna put a little patio in front. And this is just gonna be like a pretend porch for the house. I think that adds a cute little look. And around the edges of the patio, I've got this green marble railing and putting in a double gate in front so that Sims can actually use the front door. And now that that's done, we can add a little bit of decoration to the porch. So starting with a welcome mat here and a lovely yellow couple of plants. I think those are always going to be very welcoming for people. A couple of outdoor lamps. And now we can get into decorating the inside of the house. So to begin with, I'm just going to put down, if I can find it, here, a white coat rack, which was added to the game with the hair salon limited time event. And you can put whatever you want there. A plant, I think, would be nice. For us, we're going to put a plant over here on the right side of the room. This is a two by two square plant, so I think it looks nice in front of that window. And then we're going to just put some furniture down. So I'm going to start with this angled chair. I think that was also from the hair salon event and a white sofa from that island villa that I mentioned before. I think those look good together, white and this kind of aqua or mint color of the chair. Here's a pink two seater version of the island villa couch. And then in the middle, going for this bright gold snow chalet coffee table. So as you can see, just going for these lovely mood lifting colors. And here we got room for a three square wide TV in between those windows. And over here, room for a fireplace, which I think always makes a house feel really homey and lived in. And then we've got French Chateau bookcases on either side of the fireplace. I really like the look of built-in bookcases on either side of a fireplace. But you kind of have to pretend with Sims Free Play, and I'm not even sure you can do built-ins with Sims 4. I think maybe a modder or a you know custom content creator could make something like that, but with the stuff that we have in the actual game and the game packs, I'm not sure that you can even do that. But anyway, it's a request going forward for Sims games. So now we're getting into the kitchen. Recently, we had the Luxury Living limited time event, and that gave us a whole bunch of lovely countertops, as you can see in navy and white. So I thought these would work really well against the green and blue of the wallpaper that I've used. I've gone for tiled wallpaper, as you can see on the sides with the counters, and solid wallpaper or paint on the sides without. So you'll see how that works out in a little bit, hopefully. But basically, we've got an island situation here in the middle, refrigerator on the left, and then the stove and a range hood over it. So that's basically the kitchen. And on the left bottom part, that's meant to be more like a sideboard, so you can have like extra storage for food, dishes, that kind of thing. So at the island, we've got room for three bar stools, which came from the urban living event, I believe. And then in the middle, we now have room for our dining table. This is going to be just a four seater dining table. If you wanted it to be a bigger dining table, say for a bigger family, you could just make this room bigger. You could extend the room further down and give yourself a little more space to make a bigger table and more chairs. And now we're getting into the garage. So I don't know what you guys use garages for, but when I was growing up, my dad always put his tools in the garage. So that's why I put the woodworking bench there from the hobby store. And there's a refrigerator because my parents also like to have an extra refrigerator freezer in the garage. And this preteen bed, which is shaped like a car so that you can pretend that this is actually a car sitting in the garage. But that's totally a luxury. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. So now we've got our laundry room and just putting in some of the stuff. These laundry items are unlocked from the laundry limited time event. 
I have been talking about a lot of limited time events. If you've missed any of them, then I think it's a fair guess to say that they will be repeated in the game at some point. They often are. So no worries if you are still waiting on items like laundry or special windows or whatever. If you're patient, I think you'll see them again in the game. All right, so this is the master bathroom, which is part of the master suite. That master suite includes a walk-in closet. And as you can see, I'm just getting into the decorating of things, going for white furniture. This romantic four-poster bed. Underneath the bed, I'm putting in these sunshiny lotus rugs. I think these were unlocked with the spa event. But yeah, just adding things here and there to brighten up the room and keep the colors nice and light. All right, so the master suite is done, more or less, and now we can get into bedroom number one for the children of the family. So what I'm using here is two custom closets on either side of two laundry countertops to make kind of like a big closet and shelf unit for the child. And here from the preteen section, I'm furnishing the rest of the room with bed and bedside table. And then from the teen section, a desk, which came from the teen life event, I do believe. And here, working on bedroom number two, a TV gaming station, which I think also came from the teen life event. But then mixing it up a bit, dipping into the preteen section for this desk over here and for the bed. Gonna give this child a little closet here on the other side of the bed, and in order to be comfortable while gaming, they will get a sofa. And I'm just gonna brighten up the room with a little rug. Now I mentioned before about using feature walls in the bedroom, so that's what I'm gonna do now. For the middle room with the pink walls, I'm using an accent wall of butterfly wallpaper. And for the room over on the right side, I'm using an accent wall of space wallpaper. So that's what it looks like. I think that looks really nice. All right, and for the hall bathroom, that's just gonna have a toilet, shower, and double vanity. So that is basically the first floor done, and you could call the house done here if you wanted to. I want to put a basement in, but like I said, the basement is totally optional. Basements are expensive, and in order to unlock them, you'll first need to complete a whole bunch of quests. You'll need to complete the patio quest, and then the multi-story renovations quest, and then the balcony quest before you can do the basement quest. So it's a lot of work to get there, and then they are expensive once you do. but they add some nice bit of space to a house, I think. So as you can see, I have a little room on the left with a hallway for the stairs to go into, and then a few more rooms, including one big one, which you'll see why I've got that in a little bit. So I'm going for a concrete floor in two of the rooms, and in the other two, I'm decorating with flooring and wallpaper that we recently got from that luxury living event. Now I'm just putting the doors in. And now we can put in the stairs. Stairs always need to go into the room below the level that they're leading up to. So on one side of the stair hallway, I'm putting in a tiny little gym, just room for a little refrigerator and an exercise bike which is the prize for completing the seniors quest, I believe. And over here, this is a utility room with a water heater. 
And then over here, this is going to be the big luxury room that we paid a lot of money to add to the house. This is going to be a private home cinema. So we're starting off with popcorn machine, again, that came from the luxury event. These wall decorations to make it very clear that this is a theater room, a cinema room. And then we're going to go for speakers and other kinds of related decorations around. So if I can find them in the decorations tab. Keep scrolling. There we go. So wood tower speakers, two on either side of where I'm going to put the big screen. As you can see, the screen is four squares wide. Makes sense for a movie room. And we're going to put the speaker control, the stereo on the far corner. And then in the middle, one of these big snow chalet couches. The luxury living event did give us movie style seating, but I just felt it was cozier to have a big C-shaped couch like this for a family to share all together. C is for cozy, let's say. And in the middle, we'll have a coffee table with space for munchies, fries, in waffle cones. And that is the basement area, as you can see. And now we can do just a tiny bit of landscaping because I think it makes the house look that much more cheerful if you've got plants outside. And we're just putting in a few little things, small shrub trees, lavender bushes, and daisy and lilies, whatever I've got in there. So that is the house. Pretty quick and not too expensive, especially if you don't build the basement. You can also customize the house with wall decorations of your choice, posters, paintings, that kind of thing. Um, hopefully this has been inspiring for you guys and you have fun building this in your town if you want to. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way.